Good evening. I think I may have cursed us by calling it the Midwinter Program. Um, happy snow. I heard that it's going to be 50 degrees tomorrow here in Mankato, though, so I'm, I'm feeling very hopeful. Uh, welcome. We're going to be sharing with you contest material today, so music that we would take to contest and that could be judged by Minnesota State High School League, and that includes the seventh and eighth graders. However, there's not a category for seventh and eighth grade for um, contests, but we're prepping them to get them ready, and you're gonna see uh, various styles of music, and you're gonna hear different languages, and uh, we hope to give you a nice, quick evening of music. So we start with Get On Board, Little Children, and Gospel Train.
and that one actually can be found on the contest list under SAB um, for level three contest. In a little while, you'll hear uh, the concert choir do a level one, which is college level. So this choir is already singing at the baseline high school level with a, that SAB piece, Kyrie Eleison. And I'm going to apologize now um, if you're a practicing Lenten Catholic, because some of our songs have hallelujah in it, and we're in a chapel, but we don't have a performance art space. So we have to pretend that this isn't a chapel during our concert time. So when we sing hallelujah, we're not in church. So um, keep that in mind as we're going along and we're doing our contest music. A lot of the contest music is based in the Latin tradition, as we know that that is traditionally how the Catholic masses were done. My dad actually went to All Saints through eighth grade. And when he was there at All Saints, the priest still did all of their talking this direction, and it was all in Latin. And that wasn't, I mean, that was probably a little while ago now. But, uh, you know, that's just over in Madison Lake, and I think about that in, in my terms. The priest always faced us, and we never heard a lick of Latin unless somebody sang it in choir like this. So it's just a different perspective, very interesting, and we talk about that, and we talk about all the historical context of whatever piece we're doing and whatever culture that we're doing it in. So the next piece, Play For Me A Simple Melody, is uh, based in the ragtime feel. They're going to say a lot of words, and in this setting you may not understand them. But the first set of words is, won't you play for me a simple melody? Which is kind of like the Joplin on the keys. And then the second set of words sing, musical demons, set your honey a stream, and won't you play me some rag? And they say it super fast, and it comes from men. And this piece, and the piece before, and the piece you'll hear next is now separated between soprano, alto, baritone bass. I call this crew the treble tones because you'll see there's some gentlemen in there and there's no shame in that because um, many of these guys back here that sing bass can sing higher than the sopranos in this crew. They even did it a few minutes before concert. And uh, this crew is evolving. Some of them will become tenors. Some of them will become true basses. Some of them will stay right where they're at, hopefully. So we're evolving and we're still evolving over here, but it's a little bit further in the progress of the changing voice. Um, ladies will start developing their projection, and we're starting that already in this crew, and when you hear it over here, you'll really notice the difference too. So it's just all developmental, and that's something to keep in mind because so often we hear, well, I can't do that. Well, I can't sing. Well, I can't, because someone along the way heard something, and it was a little bit wrong, and it, you took that to heart. So that's one of those things you have to think about as you talk to someone and goof around about it. So. It, it does, people do take it to heart. Um, next piece, play for me a simple melody, and then we're gonna end it with Ezekiel Saw the Wheel. You'll notice, I don't know why I did this, but the, the gentleman in the baritone section, raise your hands, baritone peoples. Yeah, that's you, okay. Um, I gave them all the fast stuff. I have no idea why, but they all got all the fast words. So when Ezekiel saw the wheel, you're gonna see that they're very parched and they need water because they do a lot of words over there. So here we go, play for me a simple melody and then Ezekiel saw the wheel.
Okay, not in your program. We're going to have a solo and ensemble contest practice, as you will, with Addie Praise here. She's going to be singing Quella Fiamma. It's from a giant book of Italian songs that all vocalists have to learn if you go to college and you study voice. It's also an Allstate piece that she's choosing to audition for Allstate. So we're just doing a little bit of a practice and we're gonna have a mic sort of on, but she's loud. So um, we're just gonna play around with that because we didn't really practice this in this space. So this is totally, we're just going for it. So this is her practice to make sure she's ready to go. And so, here we go. Fiamma.
Seniors. Seniors. This is a last minute thing too. I said let the seniors just sing this tonight, this part. So we sing this first song. We won't stop dreaming at um, the Draw the Circle Wide concert and another piece that we're singing later on. This choir earned um, the highest ratings at Solon Ensemble Contest at JWP last week. Um, and <laughs> the judge that came up and talked to us actually said, he comes up and he goes, um, I don't even know what to say. And then he came up with something to say to make it worth his while, but um, we, he gave us a 39 out of 40, so you can't really, you know, no one's perfect, so that's pretty perfect. Um, we'll be singing We Won't Stop Dreamin'. We have almost all our seniors here, and uh, we have a lot of people missing from both choirs due to illness, and it's not coronavirus related, just FYI. Okay, We Won't Stop Dreamin' featuring our seniors.
The text is, Sleep, my child, for the red bee hums. The silent twilight falls. The banshee from the gray rock comes. What's the banshee again? The fairies from the gray rock come uh, to wrap the world in thrall. A lianavan. What's a lianavan? It's the the child. Lianavan is the child. See, they had to know this in case the judge were to ask them, like, what's this song about? Good thing you didn't ask him. <laughs> oh, my child, my joy, my love, my heart's desire, the cricket sings you a lullaby beside the dying fire. Dusk is drawn and the green man's thorn. Some of you might have seen those um, water fountains where it's the big head with all of the crazy hair and the water's coming out. That's what the green man is. Is wreathed in rings of fog. Shivra sails his boat till morn. Who's Shivra? It's the what? The sneaky fairy, like the like the like the spooky man, basically, um, upon the starry bog. So the whole song is to lullaby a child to sleep. It's, it is an Irish lullaby, although my friend Annie Berry said like they only learn it in school. Kind of like some of the songs you have to learn in school. It's not probably something that is sung to their actual kids. Um, but it's, a, it's like an old tale to make your kid go to sleep because if not, um, that the uh, Shebra comes and, and you know the boogeyman comes, so you gotta go to sleep. So it's like a lullaby, but it's like a scary lullaby. So here we go the Garden Mother's Lullaby.
piece. And so then you can just leave at that point. So <laughs> thank you for supporting Loyola Music. Thank you for supporting your children in this endeavor because they certainly could very well possibly not choose choir or choose band. Some of the kids in here are doing both, and that's just phenomenal. We're just plugging in another mic because we have soloists in the next piece. Uh, so thank you to that. Thank you to all of the staff that makes this place a wonderful place to work because it truly is such a, a chill, awesome place to work, and everyone helps everyone out. And that's super awesome. So I really appreciate the staff. I super appreciate our head maintenance super guru, Jim, who goes home at this time because he's been here since the crack of dawn, but he's phenomenal and helps me with the kids set all this stuff up and push everything back. I, I could not do this without Alex Nye, the super guy. He's somewhere in here, maybe, but he, yeah, back there, he, like, is my person, so when I'm like, hey, what can I do in the chapel, or hey, can you help me out here, or hey, whatever, so he's my person. And um, he's really good at razzing these kids behind us when, when we need that. So I appreciate him. Appreciate Erin that's here um, helping us out once again. She's phenomenal. She has a full-time job and then just sneaks away sometimes and comes in place for us and then sneaks back. So thank you, and I hope you don't get in trouble for me saying that. <laughs> and um, just so thankful to be here. So blessed. We're going to follow it up with our piece that they really wowed the judges with. It's, a, it's the uh, level one I was telling you about, Let Everything That Hath Breath. Um, again, made the programs really quick, and I didn't put anything special in it, so I'm just going to give a shout out to Desi over here, Desi, woo, glasses Desi, and then Addie. Those are my two, like, raise the roof girls at the end of this piece, so um, that's what it is, we're gonna we're gonna rock you out of this place right now and let everything that half breath. Thank you again. Thank you. 